Question nine. So it tells me just here, the perimeters of these two shapes are the same. So we could therefore write down that, so if I'm thinking about the rectangle, I need to work out what the X bit is before I can do anything at all. So three X plus four plus four X. And if we multiply that by two, so that's for the rectangle. And we know that's gonna be equal to so if we look at the trapezium, we're going to have 5x plus 5x, so that's 10x. And then I've got plus x minus 3 and plus 7x minus 3. Right, let's multiply all of that out. So the first one, that's 7x, that's going to be 14x. So this is the rectangle, plus 8, and that's going to equal, we've got 10 11, we've got 18x, take away 6. Right, take away 14x from both sides. So that gives me 8 equals 4x minus 6. Add the 6 to both sides. So that gives me 14 equals 4x. So therefore, x must equal... 14 divided by 2, which is 7 over 2, or maybe 3.5. Now it just says, work out the area of the rectangle. Well, let's think about the dimensions of the rectangle, first of all. So, we've got our rectangle, and we've got one length is 4x. So, 4 multiplied by 3.5. So that's going to be 14. And then I've got to work out the length, which is 3x plus 4. So 3x plus 4 is 14.5. Squeeze that there. So to work out the area is just multiply these two together. And if you do that, it's 203. And does say centimetres squared on the answer line.